Hi guys! In today's video, we'll be doing the exclusionary Posable Mermaid Tail from Latex. I went for a fire theme, so I kept mine in yellow, orange and reds. And I know fine water don't really mix, but I was going for sort of an elemental mermaid kind of look. You can make this tail for whatever doll you want, being Monster High or Barbie, whatever, and I used a Monster High this time. To make the pattern for our tail, I'll be using kitchen film and tape. I started by temporarily taping the doll's joints together, and this was just to keep them at a fixed point while we were doing the pattern. Then you want to cover the whole doll in kitchen film. And then you cover the whole bottom part in tape. So you're essentially making it into a mummy. Once it's all covered, you can draw on the top edge of the tail and also draw down the side so you know where to cut it. In the piece for the back, you want to cut down a slit in the top to make room for the booty. Then I transferred the pieces onto paper. And at the bottom of the tail by the feet, I'll be adding a bigger surface and kind of putting it out, because this is where I want the tail fin to start as well. For the back piece, you want to draw on the same bottom for the tail fin as the front piece, but you also want to add a bit of seam allowance, so to say, on both sides of the pattern. And this is just to make sure that the top and bottom part will overlap when we put them together. For the bottom fin, I freehanded it to have sort of little squiggly ends, which I felt kind of looked like flames. I also drew some additional smaller fins to go on the sides. Next you want to take a plastic folder or smooth plastic bag, anything like that, and then place your pattern pieces on the inside, so we can build the latex on top. And here's the three colors of glitters I chose to use, and these are all mixes I made myself. And then of course you're gonna need some liquid latex. I just got this at a local craft store. I pour a bit of latex into a small dish and then I use a silicone sculpting tool to slightly dab it onto the pattern. And the latex kind of tends to pull together and retract. So you just wanna keep adding more and kind of working it up until the edges to until you get it to stay where you need it to be. And don't worry if you go a bit over the edges because you can trim this off later.
Once you have the whole piece covered, then you want to add on your glitter before the latex dries. And I simply sprinkled it on, kind of like, not really an ombre, but sort of in my head was, going from yellow at the top, then to orange and red at the bottom. Then you want to repeat this process for the other pieces as well. Once it's dry enough, you want to tip it to get rid of any excess glitter and then you want to seal it in with another layer of latex, being sure you don't transfer some glitter to other parts that's a different color. And even though it does dull down the glitter a little bit to seal it in, it just keeps the final result from shedding everywhere. Then you want to leave it to dry completely and whenever you're afraid of the latex might stick to itself you want to add a bit of talcum powder just to brush that away and brush that on the surface though I will be using the sticky layer on the side to kind of adhere the tail together. Before you start assembling the tail be sure you trim away any excess. Lastly, I attach the tail fin onto the front part of the tail using more latex. Then you want to start sticking the front piece to the back piece starting at the bottom of the tail fin using more leg tracks since that part isn't sticky anymore. Then you want to gradually fold the pieces together and stick them.
To ensure that the piece will hold properly, add a bit more latex down the seams on each side. Now you want to add the smaller fins as a last touch. Let it dry and then powder it and then our tail is done. And here's the finished tail. I'll be using this for a mermaid repaint in the future so stay tuned for that. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Hit the like button if you did and I'll see you guys in a new one real soon. Bye!